Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse. Let's continue. We didn't make it very far at the in the first recording. Had to talk about problems with the software itself. Now we can kind of ignore that. We need to use this Eau de Toilet, which is toilet water or perfume, uh, on L Lane. They call him Lane. I would say it would... What the label read, read, name. Awaken the beast within. Well, no harm in trying. Nice little hint on the label. We're trying to get the code if we can find it to get in here. Uh, uh, what was that? It smells like like the seventies. Hmm. Where am I? You fainted. Hmm. Now, ideally, I don't think if somebody faints, you should tell them to stand up, uh, let them stand up immediately. You probably should have kept them sitting on the ground. Welcome back to the land of the living. Hmm. I wouldn't exactly call this living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. Well, I guess I do have the pizza, so let's give him the pizza. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. Now give it here. Hmm. Notice how there's no animation between it him the really being handed to him. Hmm. Uh, now what's been going on? Uh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. It feels like there's a animation issue here. Hmm. Because I already don't like the foreground characters. I think a big part of it is shadowing if you see on the back of his, this guy's arm and here there's a lot of shading uh the way this kind of curves feels like shading too but also i think it's a low number of colors that are being used uh and it's an attempt to probably use shading to make a something look 3d <laughs> but Inherently, I think it might just be that there's two different artists, the character artist and the background artist, and they were not a good match. Excuse me. Talk to him. Do I know you? And then when you add yes, that, paths have crossed in the Glees gallery. Uh, oh, when he handed oh, the pizza, it just disappeared from his himself. hand. I don't suppose. And appeared in uh, his hand. Not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. Hmm. Huh. I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? This puts George directly in this investigation by him being the person who insured the art that was just stolen. Because I guess that means if it's not an inside job, he has to pay, pay out. He doesn't want to do that. And let's see, we've got... Four lines of dialogue here that I kind of wish, wonder what this would look like in the modern UI. So let's see if we switch. We won't do too much of this. Well, I can't switch. Interesting. Uh, we'll have to switch later. Did you know the gallery owner? Hmm. Of course. We worked together on the exhibition. Oh, really? Henri provided the space. I was the creative powerhouse. Hmm. How long had you known him? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. Hmm. If Lane was involved with the gallery, then he had to know the code to that door. Nice little hint. 
pointing us in the right direction. I guess I can show them items too. I don't particularly enjoy the idea of not having the ability to choose dialogue options. What this is implying to me is that there will be severely less comedic lines of dialogue in this game or silly pass. Uh, the remasters also did that. There's definitely a stylistic change that happened in Revolution Software between the time of the original Broken Sword 2 games and Broken Sword 3, 4, and 5 and the remaster. Things, something changed there. Are these your nail clippers? Of course. See, they're monogrammed with my initials. Hmm. How about some more of this? I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne, it would be barbaric. Using big words. So, yeah, when he shows somebody something, he just moves his hand in and out of his coat pocket like he's actually holding something, although I didn't actually see if there was anything in his hand. Do you know anything about the stolen painting? Of course, dear boy. Hmm. La Maledixio, a little-known work, turned up at the last minute. What about the killer? Were you able to get a look at him? A delinquent in a tin hat. Beyond that, I don't really recall. Oh, yeah, you fainted. Those of us with a higher aesthetic are more sensitive to violence. So we could ask about the artist, and we can ask about the painting, which we should probably should. What can you tell me about the stolen painting? La Maledixio? A challenging piece. If you like a wide cast of obscure saints and fringe Christian symbolism, of course. Not hmm. especially valuable, though. The thief won't get much for it on the black market. Who painted the stolen painting? Therein lies a mystery. We only know his pseudonym, El Cert. He was a Catalan, a modernist. His works are symbolic, religious. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't get very much money if you don't even know who painted it. So you curated the exhibition? What's it about? A brilliant retrospective. A dialectical window on European art's ongoing discourse with the unresolved psychoses of the nation state. Wow, you took the words right out of my mouth. Hmm. I'm trying to look here and see if any of these paintings might have been background art from the previous games. I don't really see anything here, though. It, it all looks like real art to me, or at least good facsimiles of real art. So, you help run this place? Maybe you can give me the code to that door. The code to the office? I just mm. thought you might have the number. I do, but I couldn't possibly give you access before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. I needed to turn the heat out. So, how do I turn the heat up? Let's walk over here for a second. This feels too much like a cell phone game. Honestly. The zoom in on these characters are, is really, really big compared to what it was like in Broken Sword 1 and, and George was barely a few pixels tall in some scenes. Uh, and because it's now 3D you notice we didn't go into a up-close conversation view and that kills in my opinion a lot of modern attempts uh, at remakes of point-and-click adventures because wow. they figure why not just have that there I recently covered a game yes, called yes. loom that where they took out all the up-close parts of the game in all of the conversations and it really really changed the feeling of the game 
and, and that game could not really bear losing any content. Hey, father, how about a squirt? I think not. Do you recognize these? Nail clippers. I'm not sure what your point is. I'm not sure if I can actually leave right now, but let's ask about the keypad, cut wire, conspiracy. Let's just start on the, the left side, why not? What did you mean when you said that a great evil had taken place? Your adversary and it sucks that the mouse doesn't disappear. Walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Peter 5-8. The devil is all around, Mr. Stobart. And it feels crazy that while I'm questioning these people, Nicole is chasing after the guy with a gun and potentially getting shot. George hasn't expressed a single bit of concern about that. Now, Nicole can hold her own, but that doesn't mean he shouldn't be concerned. Did Henri say anything before he died? He said, Stop the car. I want to get in. Hmm. Um, what does that mean? We may never know. Stop the car. I want to get in. What brought you to the exhibition, Father? The painting. Which one? La Maledictio, of course. Hmm. The painting that was stolen. I had to confront the evil. Well, you didn't do a great job at it. Tell me about the stolen painting. Whoever gets close to it will burn in hell. Interesting. What do you know about the man who painted our Maledictio? El Sep. He was a man playing with fire. The fire of eternal damnation. I hope there's not too much v of church conspiracy in this game because that pretty much was the story of the Angel of Death that we did before this. Uh, so it needs to swing slightly far away from that. I don't mind if the Templars come back, but I, I wouldn't want them to be the main bad guy either. <laughs> I think there's something strange going on here. Yes, Mr. Stobart. At last you see the truth. No, Father. I mean that the robbery looks like an inside job. The devil's hmm. work is always an inside job. <laughs> A wire in the painting's alarm was deliberately cut. Cut by the devil himself, perhaps. Well, as far as I know, sightings of guys with horns and tails have been a little down recently. You mock me, Mr. Stobart. But as you will discover, the devil likes to have the last laugh. So maybe I can use the nail clippers to cut a wire? Do you know the code to get into the office? No. But you could always pray and ask for divine guidance. With respect, Father, I'm looking for a slightly quicker solution. Hmm. The street was quiet and upmarket. Not the kind of place for an opportunist thief. This looks real nice, but... And we made it out. Dude, this looks really, really nice. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. I just wish he wasn't here. The icons are nice and big. The room looked like some sort of office for the gallery. I could just see the glow of the CCTV monitor in the corner. And here we have a pissoir. Are they still in France? You gotta hand it to the French. They know how to take a leak in style. Hmm. We could go to the metro station. We could go several different places. This is the Blue the Lizard. Here, you couldn't see the stolen painting. This robbery was definitely planned. Hmm. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. Hmm. So, 
so it seems odd that we would want to talk to this the waiter offered black coffee and a short list of soft drinks hmm I feel like I'm off the beaten path Excuse me There's just been a robbery at the gallery. Oh, man. You don't sound surprised. Hmm. All property is theft, monsieur. And all art is property. Therefore, all art is theft. Do you not agree? Uh, well, uh, when you put it like that, it's... Why not to? I, I think I don't agree, yes. <laughs> uh, the, that would be the right thing to say. Did you see anybody run out of the gallery earlier? There was a beautiful woman with a camera. She was chasing somebody. Oh, that must have been Nico. Hmm. You know her? You surprised me. Can you tell me anything about the man she was chasing? I assume, monsieur, that like all of us, he is inherently unknowable. No wonder this guy's cafe was empty. The gallery owner, Henri, was shot dead trying to stop the robbery. Life has no meaning the moment you lose the illusion of being eternal. <laughs> right. Did you know him well? Can we ever truly know another human being? This guy's not going to help at all. He spent little time at the cafe, unlike his friend, Monsieur Lane. So, notice over here there's some random people walking in the background. It looks like it might be only two or three models of people. But it gives a nice touch. What do you know about Le Lizard Bleu? Hmm. Bourgeois, vacuous, and overpriced. Just like its curator Lane. He's always in here, you know, talking art to his latest musée. Let's see. Do you recognize these? They are nail clippers. Would you like a squirt of this? No. Are you suggesting I smell, monsieur? No, sorry. This is a short game, so you should try to squeeze everything out of it. And it's being helpful by fading out everything we've already clicked on. What do you know about Hector Lane? Lane? Oh, yeah. He drinks here sometimes. He slid away last night without paying. Last night? What sort of time? After midnight, for sure. If you see him, give him this bill. And tell him to pay up next time. And again, he hands an imaginary bill. A bill. <laughs> I wondered if Lane had money problems. This could be the leverage I needed to get the office door code from Lane. Thank you for your so I was difference, monsieur. Perhaps next time you come, I will give you a coffee. Perhaps not. Hey. So, yeah, lack of ability to animate an item in the character's hand being handed to another character. Frankly, for a point-and-click adventure game, that, that was going to happen a lot. They, even with their roughly $1.3 million, they still didn't seem like they had enough. Uh, I probably didn't. You know, if you're going to make a good game, I would say put that budget closer to 3 to $8 million. Even if it, if you think it's a small project, it's very possibly not going to be. So apparently I can't go any further here. Hmm. And there's nothing hidden up here. So let's go down here. Moment, I contemplated getting on the next train out of here. But a man was dead, and I had a job to do. So the game is keeping me moderately locked in the same area. It fades out to save me some time. That's a nice effect. I did want to see what the menu looked like, though, the other way. Um, visual settings. Modern. Modern, back, back, return to the game, 
Now let's see what it looks like when you talk to the guy this way. Took a while Mr. to Lane, you're really gonna have load. to give me the code to that door. And why, pray, should I Yeah, that, that comic book text because just makes it feel see, even odder. Suspect. We both know you're innocent, Mr. Lane, but the cops, well, they hmm. may not see things so simply. I might be able to get them off your case, but in exchange, I'd like the code for the office door. But that's preposterous. The police would have neither evidence nor motive. Funny you should mention that. So with the modern UI, you have your conversation options here and they aren't faded out so let's click on the drink spill last but let's start with the silly things Ugh, keep that noxious potion away from me hmm. are these your nail clippers mr lane interesting yes either by switching to the new the perfect implement for cutting the alarm on a stolen painting hmm. what are you saying well the alarm was sabotaged mr lane it was an inside job hmm. are you accusing me how dare you i had no reason to kill henri no motive whatsoever okay but i don't think the cops will see it like that and i sure would like that door code <laughs> So, either because I'm having the conversation twice or because I switched the interface, things that would have been um, faded out became unfaded out, and it feels like it's probably because I'm questioning them twice. Well, you got to admit, the cut wire doesn't look good for you. As I said, this is a preposterous allegation. Mr. Lane, this robbery is not going to reflect well on you. As I said, I shall take my chances. You're not getting that door code. Darn. I hate to say this, Mr. Lane, but you're going to be the number one suspect for this murder. So you keep saying, Mr. Stobart. I just want to exhaust everything here before I click on the right thing. The evidence is piling up against you, Mr. Lane. This is ridiculous. I have evidence that puts you near the gallery late last night. But give me the code to the door and the cops don't need to know a thing. Impossible. What evidence? Hmm. Take a look at this. Yeah. And they don't animate well, it in their hands. It's your bill from the cafe next door. So, you sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. When did he say that? Tell you what. You give me the code of the door, and the police need never know. A motive and proof of involvement. Not looking good, Mr. Lane. Yeah, on the you iPhone or an iPad, this, Just doing my job. this new UI might make All some right. sense. But you have me. The number is 6397. But I admit to none of these spurious accusations. I had the code. The police would be here any moment, so I had to work fast. And everything is still too dark. It's a lot better in the game than the menu. What was that number again? Six, four, two, no. Six, Everyone, three. Everyone, hold it right there. <laughs> he didn't get the code then, right? Hey, it's the police guy. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris He's Serious new. Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. Hmm. Now, nobody move. Especially you on the floor. Mo, I want a total lockdown. Nobody in or out. Apart from me, of course. Hmm. A few minutes later. I needed to get back into the gallery. But a familiar figure hmm. was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mo. Our paths had crossed before. So I, I like Nicole back Nico back into her high fashion French outfit that she was in in I think Broken Sword One and Two. 
Uh, let's see. Can we look through the window? The body was still in there. I had to get back inside. Can I look through this window? It was an office. The room was full of strange trinkets. So we're going to get different responses for different characters. I've had enough as far as game settings with the, I mean visual settings, as far as the modern interface. I don't like that one bit. And let's take a look here and save. And right, the existing save. You know what? We got enough save slots. Let's just use them. Hmm. And then we have to come back out here again and restore to see how far we've done. Well, we've not been playing for an hour and 42 minutes. That is, it is adding time in between time that the game is paused, which again is a flawed way to have a PC game work. Uh, we've been barely going in an hour if that much probably close to the 45 minutes and we are at four percent done i imagine we'll have to spend a few minutes trying to get nico back in there and then we'll get into the room and see some evidence and the evidence will hopefully take us to a new area there is a danger in this since it was designed to be a game that was pretty small in the first place uh, we might find that the there are some extra areas that that stand out as being extra and not having any real per point of existing uh, and all the main story elements may f turn out to be pretty quick and abrupt Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.